A minion face mask. I feel like this is one of those serial killer moments where I can imagine this on television where it's like minion man killed everyone. What is up guys, my name is Gabe. Today we are gonna be looking at some of the weirdest products on the internet. This video is gonna get very strange real quick. If you guys would like to grab this Living in the Moment hoodie, I also have a white version if you're not into the black dark mood like me. You can go to gianthugs.com slash Gabe or if you're lazy, it's okay, I got you. Click the link in the description. It's the top one right there. Just go click, 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 click. You guys can submit future video ideas for 2020, which is actually gonna be next video, I believe. Let me check. Next Friday is January 3rd. So this is officially my last video of the year. I usually wrap it up with my sister, but I guess that will be the first video of 2020. I guess the best way to end this decade is probably saying the famous three words that I always say, and then continuing it into the new year by starting it with that. Here we go. Rhinoceros beetle earrings? Do I even need to explain why this shouldn't be a product? Is that a real bug? Rhinoceros beetle. These are real. Imagine someone wearing them in their ears. I feel like I'm gonna throw up. Why do I feel like someone would wear this as a fashion statement? Ah, rhinoceros beetle earrings are so in right now. It's a beetle! Why, why, who thought, who thought this was a good idea? It doesn't even look nice. Rhinoceros beetle earrings. Oh my god. A minion face mask. Oh. I love the minions, but this, this ain't it, Chief. This, this is uh, not even close. Oh, it's so creepy. I don't even want to look at it anymore. I can't tell if the mask is actually terrifying or if it's the guy who has the mask on. Cause look into his eyes. Why is he so excited? She's like, yes, I'm a minion. Banana. This will be in my nightmare for probably 10 weeks. I can't, I can't keep looking at that. No, no. Who let this be a thing? It is terrifying. If I was a kid and I saw that after seeing the minions and Despicable Me, uh, childhood ruined. I'm convinced this guy thinks he's a minion. I will never look at the minions the same. I feel like this is one of those serial killer moments where I can imagine this on television where it's like minion man killed everyone. If they're really gonna commit to the whole minion thing, why is he naked? The minions are really never naked. They always have blue overalls on. That's like their signature thing. Nothing about this is right. <laughs> A t-shirt that smells like pizza. This sounds like an idea that I would think of, and I'd be like, this is such a great idea, and then I'd tell everyone, they're like, why? Am I that weird? So it's pretty much just a shirt that smells like cheese at all times. This is probably the first product out of the list so far that I feel good about. If someone were to give me this as a gift, I don't think I'd be mad. I probably would wear it once and that'd be it, but for that one day, I feel like I'd be the coolest kid in town. And then the next day it goes on and everyone forgets about you, but for that one day. Yo, what's up, I'm Pizza Dude. Smell my shirt! Smell like pizza, right? <laughs> There's a small chance that I will buy this after this video. A pickle that just yodels. That's fun for like two seconds. I'm like, ha ha, it's yeah, yodel. I don't know. I need to take a walk. I really do. Yodelay, yodelay, yodel. A three foot tall pepper container? Who needs that? I love pepper so much, I need a three foot tall pepper container. You know, unless you're using pepper every single second of the day, why? Honestly, why? This has to be a joke. I mean, I know people like pepper, but three feet worth of pepper? No. You know, at first I thought this was a stock image of someone smiling because who would be that happy about pouring pepper? But then again, who would have a stock image of someone with a giant pepper container like that? No one's that happy about pouring pepper on a salad. It's not even a normal size salad. This has to be a joke. Look at the size of the salad. Like they have to emphasize how big this pepper thing is. At first I thought it was a stock image where it's just a random person smiling and you know, they photoshopped it in. I looked at it at all angles. He's really holding that. A surgical mask that looks like underwear. Why? Imagine your doctor wearing this while giving you surgery and being like, everything's gonna be all right. Just ignore what I'm wearing. Oh yeah, by the way, I have to cut out your heart. How did this get approved? I don't... It doesn't even sound like a good idea. Two person mittens? That's a thing? I feel like that's one of those ideas that sounds really cute and it's like, oh, couples would love this. You have fingers. Are they just gonna be like this next to each other? When you hold hands, you're like this. You're not like, oh, this is so cute. You can't actually grab someone's hand like that. How did this get past the drawing board? How are you gonna grab their hand? Like, oh, that's fun. Gotta love that. Love walking like this. What do you think, we're birds? Where are my thumbs supposed to go? There's no thumb holes. Where do they go? Like this? None of this makes sense. A selfie toaster? A toaster where you can burn your face into it as a selfie. With the generation we live in where everyone takes selfies, I can imagine a lot of people buying this one. My whole life I've been told you can't put metal in a toaster, which makes sense because it'll actually electrocute you. But I see a metal stencil next to the toaster. So how does that work? I don't know. I feel like the gold trophies everyone gets are so out of date and so just boring. We need something fun, great, like a giant clownfish as a trophy. That's a great idea. I wish I was kidding. 
I really do. I'm not. That's a real image. What is this woman doing in the picture? I know they're trying to compare it to a person, but why? What would you do with a trophy that big? Imagine winning a soccer competition and they give you a giant clownfish that is three times your size. What is the point of this? If you're watching this and you're like, I don't really see the problem in this. Something's wrong with you. If it's as big as it's shown in the picture, how would you fit this in your car? Why am I even asking that? Would you put it in water? Have you ever wanted to spy on someone while it rains outside? Well, I've got the product for you. It's the eye goggle umbrella. They definitely won't be able to tell you're staring at them through the giant glasses on the umbrella. Yeah, it's like camo. If I saw someone in the corner of my eye with a giant yellow umbrella, I would definitely look. Also, what's with the top of it? Does it have a straw? A stroller that's also a scooter. I mean, that's not that bad of an idea. As long as you're cautious and you know, you don't drop your kid. I feel like this is a fun thing for both the parent and the kid. Cause the kid's like, Woo, it's a ride. And the parent's like, yay, I don't have to go two miles an hour. It may not be the safest idea if you're going too fast down a really cool hill and you know, you're picking up great speed and then the baby rolls out and you're still going down the hill. But I mean like, who would do that? <laughs> what? Finally, a product that I don't actually need, but I could imagine buying. It's a sponge that's in the shape of a microphone. You know, we all sing in the shower, at least I do. I don't know about anyone else. But having the ability to be like, la, 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 and then, la, la, la. I like that. I kind of want it. Is that Bono? A onesie that is a sleeping bag. I want that. I want that now. Take my money. I'm not even going to deny this. I am a onesie guy. I will buy that. I will buy 10 of those. That is a great idea. I am going to buy this right now. I, I want this. How much, how much is this? I'm going to look this up. North Face has one that goes for $1,000. It is not worth that. <laughs> like it's a fun product, but definitely not worth $1,000. I'll make my own version of that. I'll take my money back and do what I've been doing my entire life where I take a sleeping bag and I just walk around in that. And yes, I trip a lot, but it's okay. I saved $1,000. It has all five star reviews except for one, which is a one star review, which has four words. No work, Adidas better. It's a piece of clothing. I don't know what that means, no work. Was this written by a caveman? No work. 90% of these products were so bad. So bad. If you guys would like to see a part two, give the video a thumbs up and make sure you're subscribed. The best way of sending me future images if we end up doing that part two is on my Discord server, which is on both mobile devices and computers. And yes, that includes Androids. I'm always gonna say that. Sorry, Android users. Not sorry. Link as always is in the description down below. Also, if you guys would like to grab this Living in the Moment hoodie, I also have a white version of it. You can go to gianthugs.com slash Gabe, or once again, click the link in the description down below. The first shout out for this week is the positive comment of the week. If you'd like to be featured in a future video, all you have to do is comment something cool or an achievement in your life. That person this week being Baby Dragon, I love that username, who found 74 cents in the bottom of their bag. So congratulations, always good finding money. You can put that money towards that onesie that's a thousand dollars. You're almost there. The second shout out for this week is also a positive comment. That person being Michaela, who got a job and loves it. That's awesome. <laughs> Normally I'm just like, all right guys, I'll see you next year, which is still the same thing as it always is. But I'm just thinking of it in the 10 year span and thinking 13 year old me versus 23 year old me, which is right now. I know I still look 13. In 2013, I created this channel. I was a senior in high school trying to figure out who I wanted to be. I think that was the first year I felt confident with myself fully because I'd been bullied for so many years and then I was like, you know what, I'm done with all this. I'm gonna focus on myself. So I created this channel and then I saw such a big support from you guys. Some of you have been here since then. Some even before that, I've been doing it since I was like nine. This last year I was really figuring out what I wanted to do and now it's time to execute that. And so 2020 is gonna be that year. And on top of that, I am gonna set a goal. I know I set it for this year. It's okay I didn't hit it because I feel like I wasn't ready for it. In 2020, we are gonna hit 1 million subscribers. Hopefully you'll stick on this journey with me. Take my hand. I don't know why I said that. I thought it'd be a great line. It was like a movie moment for me. Don't take my hand. Just watch videos, I guess. <laughs> I'll talk to you guys next week. Peace out. I really feel like trophies are, you know, I, I really, uh, where would this, the name, if this is a, this is a, I think I'm assuming this is, this, honestly, you, who, uh, why, also, why is he holding up? Why did, why did they feel, ba -ba 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 -ba. but this just, is a, why does the banana look so weird? I'm gonna sneeze. Why is this, this, no, 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 I, I don't even, what? I, I don't know. Uh, a pickle that yodels. As long as you don't knock the... <laughs>